Divisive Concepts does have a vague description, but according to one school board member, racism and conversations about racism in the classroom is considered divisive and controversial that may make some feel uncomfortable. Now, in a three to two vote, the school board did vote to approve this policy, but it was met with some opposition from teachers and parents. This proposed policy only creates a narrow minded and incomplete view on the world for the children it will influence. More than 20 people signed up to speak regarding a policy change for divisive concepts being taught in the classroom. This whitewashed narrative is inaccurate and embarrassing. There's a plethora of sources available which outline ways in which systemic racism exists in our country today. You do not get to tell someone else what their familial history is. Out of more than 20 speakers, only one speaker who's an olive white parent agrees with the new policy change. I'm the white lady who's married to a white man with white children, which I only said because I followed several speakers who felt it necessary to describe. They want to tell us who are residents and proud citizens of the greatest nation on the face of this earth that they are victims of systemic racism. It's sick. And if that's what's being taught in schools, then the Department of Education must be immediately defunded. The new policy states that no one is a victim of racism. It also states that parents have the responsibility to guide their children on controversial topics. A Smithfield High School teacher says it would impact what he can and cannot teach. I teach about slavery through a, in the lens of, I teach World History One, which is uh, early civilization forward, and we do address the fact that every one of those cultures moving forward had slavery in some form or another, which means if they pass this, then we're concerned about the fact, that, are we even going to be able to teach the whole curriculum that's lined up by the Virginia Department of Education? I spoke to school board member Jackson Maresh, who is in favor of the new policy. The intent is to get controversial topics out of the classroom. Are there any history teachers that are teaching these controversial topics? Not that I know of, no. And again, that's why I, I don't see there's going to be a big issue with putting this policy in place. I won't call it preventative measures. School board member Denise Steins is against the policy. History is history. It doesn't matter. It's, a, it's, it's, it's American history. Steins believes the policy is biased. I think it's to get away from diverse types of uh, subjects mm -hmm. where uh, race may enter there, slavery may enter there. You know, um, you can't erase slavery. Slavery happened. I asked the school board if the new policy will impact accelerated high school classes where college material is taught. The school district tells me that they are researching that and that they will know in the upcoming weeks. I'm Leandra Head, News 3.